Hey guys, this is Abe for iOS Hacker. In today's video, we will explore iPhone's security feature and perform steps that will enable you to make your iPhone more secure. In this video, we will talk about some very important iPhone features that you need to know about to keep your iPhone and data secure from hackers and thieves. Many of the features that we have talked about in this video have been added to the iPhone recently, so make sure you're running the latest version of iOS on your iPhone. As running the most up-to-date release of iOS is one of the basic steps of making iPhone more secure. iPhones running iOS 17 or later are equipped with security features that can protect your privacy and your data. And that is exactly what we're going to help you with in this video. But before we begin, make sure you subscribe to our channel for more informative videos about your iPhone. Turn on stolen device protection. If you're running iOS 17.3 or later and don't want a thief to gain access to your iPhone and subsequently your data, then you need to enable stolen device protection security feature on your iPhone. This is a new iOS feature that adds a layer of security to the iPhone. It does so by requiring the user to scan his or her face with face ID or scan a finger on touch ID devices to access certain data and make changes like changing devices passcode or Apple ID password. This is super useful in situations when someone has stolen your iPhone and knows your passcode. Enabling this setting is extremely crucial as without it, anyone who has access to your device and knows its passcode can lock you out of your Apple account and gain access to all accounts whose passwords are stored in iCloud Keychain. You can turn on stolen device protection by going to Face ID and Passcode section of the Settings app. There, scroll down and tap on Turn on Protection under Stolen Device Protection heading. You can learn more about stolen device protection feature by visiting the link that we have shared in the description of this video. Set a strong passcode. The next thing you want to do in order to secure your iPhone is choosing a strong passcode. I cannot stress the importance of a secure iPhone passcode enough. This simple step goes a long way into keeping hackers and thieves out of your iPhone and away from your sensitive data. While it is recommended to use alphanumeric passcodes on your iPhone that are made with a combination of letters and numbers, the least you can do is use non-sequential six-digit passcodes. So instead of using something like 123456 or 258258, 258, use something like 267314. You can set a more secure passcode on your iPhone by going to Face ID and Passcode Settings and tapping on Change Passcode option. Make sure Find My iPhone is enabled. Find My iPhone is an essential tool that proves invaluable when you end up losing your iPhone or it gets stolen. Find My not only enables you to locate your iPhone on the map, but it also gives you the ability to remotely wipe your device. It also enables activation lock, which prevents anyone else from using your iPhone when it is stolen without entering your Apple ID password. The Lost Mode feature of Find My lets you display a message and phone number on the lock screen so anyone who finds your device can contact you to return it. You can enable Find My by going into Settings and tapping on your name from the top. Then on the next screen, tap on Find My and then on Find My iPhone. Finally, you can enable the toggles next to the Find My iPhone and Find My network settings. Also, make sure to enable Send Last Location toggle, so your iPhone's last location is sent to Apple when its battery is critically low. Liking the video so far? Then please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more informative videos like this. Disable access to certain features when device is locked. You can boost the security of your iPhone by disabling access to certain features while the device is locked. When you disable them, these features will only become available after the device has been unlocked, preventing unauthorized access to these features. You can go to the Face ID and Passcode section of the Settings app and scroll all the way down. There, make sure you disable toggles for Notification Center, Control Center, Lock Screen Widgets, Live Activities, Siri, Reply with Message, Wallet, Return Missed Calls, and Accessories. Disabling these features will make your iPhone more secure and help in preventing hacking. Turn on Mail Privacy Protection Next step to boost security on iPhone is to enable Mail Privacy Protection feature. To enable it, go to the Mail section of the Settings app and tap on Privacy Protection. When this feature is enabled, the Stock Mail app will hide your IP address when you open emails. In addition to that, it will load remote content in emails privately in the background. This makes it harder for senders to follow your mail activity and makes your iPhone and mail accounts more secure. Never share your Apple ID with others. 
This one is obvious. However, it is important to stress on this point as many people end up sharing their Apple ID details with family and friends, which makes the account more vulnerable. An Apple ID holds the key to your iPhone and your data. So it is extremely important to not only use a strong and unique password for it, but also avoid sharing its details with other people. For people who want to share their app and media purchases among family members, Apple offers family sharing features that let you share your purchases without sharing your Apple ID with other people. Enable iCloud Private Relay iCloud Plus subscribers can enable iCloud Private Relay feature and make using the internet on iPhone more private. When this feature is enabled, iOS prevents websites and network providers from creating a detailed profile about you. When you enable iCloud Private Relay, the traffic web data from your iPhone is encrypted and sent through two separate internet relays. This helps in hiding your IP address and your location and thus keeps your browsing activity in Safari browser more private. You can enable iCloud Private Relay by tapping on your name in settings and going to the iCloud option. On the next page, select Private Relay and turn it on by switching the toggle. Turn on Erase Data option. The next step to make iPhone more secure involves enabling the Erase Data option. When this setting is enabled, iOS will automatically erase all data on your iPhone after 10 failed passcode attempts. This security feature is designed to prevent hackers from gaining access to your iPhone using the brute force technique. You can enable Erase Data option by going to Face ID and Passcode section of the Settings app and scrolling all the way down. There you will find a toggle to turn on Erase Data. Turn on Lockdown Mode The Lockdown Mode is an extreme measure and only meant for those who believe they might be targets of highly sophisticated and targeted cyber attacks. When this feature is enabled, iPhone protects you from hacking by strictly limiting apps, websites and features on your device, while other experiences won't be available to the user at all. This includes blocking of attachments in the Messages app, blocking of certain complex web technologies in Safari, blocking of FaceTime calls from people you have not contacted before, removal of location data from shared photos and more. You can learn more about the lockdown mode by visiting the link shared in the description below. Lockdown mode can be enabled by going into the privacy and security section of the settings app. There, scroll all the way down and tap on the lockdown mode. You can set up lockdown mode from the next screen. And that's it. This is how you can make your iPhone more secure and prevent hackers and thieves from stealing your data and gaining access to your device. If you found this video to be helpful, then please consider subscribing to our channel for more informative videos on iPhone and security like this one. We hope to catch you in our next video.